Does anybody feel like August flew by so fast? Like, how is it September already? <laughs> August 2017. So many things happened in August, so much music, so many people woke up from their winter sleep and by that I mean Taylor Swift, welcome back Queen, I miss you so much and I cannot wait to hear the whole Reputation album. But first things first, let's start from the beginning of August. On the 27th of August were held the MTV Video Music Awards and here are my top 3 moments of the VMAs. Number 3 goes to Lord, who performed Homemade Dynamite. But here is the thing, she didn't sing, she danced. I haven't heard or seen someone dancing instead of singing on an award show and I love it, it was amazing. She danced while her song was playing in the background and she looked so happy, so free, so, so new, I don't know, I haven't seen Lord dancing before and I love that. Number two goes to Pink who did a mashup of some of her most famous songs. I love the whole mashup, the special effects, the flying car, the dances, the choreography, the clothes, just amazing and overall the whole thing just contributed to a better smoother transition from one song to another and it was just amazing. It is just another proof how awesome Pink is. Oh, and I love the part when she went through the crowd and greeted them and said hello and hugged them. It was so cute and adorable. I love that. And number one again goes to Pink when she accepted the Michael Jackson Award. Her speech was amazing and truly inspiring. You should watch the whole thing. All of the links are down in the description below. Song of the month. Yeah. <laughs> Number 3 goes to Woman by Kesha, which is from her new album Rainbow, which by the way dropped this August. I love it because it is recorded with live instrumentation and you can hear all of the instruments, you can hear all of the laughter, all of the happiness. It is so raw and organic, it's, it's free with, there is no computer generated sounds. It is what music is supposed to be in my opinion. Number 2 goes to Younger Now by Miley Cyrus. It is from her upcoming album Younger Now which is set to be released on September 29th and I cannot wait for this album. I love Miley Cyrus. I think she's a great artist and singer-songwriter. She has really powerful and beautiful voice and I love her previous albums although I didn't like her image very well. Uh, not wearing clothes, I mean. In this song, she embraces her past and the person who she used to be and who is she now. My favorite lyrics are, even though it's not who I am, I'm not afraid of who I used to be. No one stays the same. Change is a thing you can count on. I think the most amazing part is her cover artwork. Like, look how cute she looks. Ah, it's adorable. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can guess who gets number one, but I'll give you three seconds to say it. Okay, one, two, three. Taylor Swift! <laughs> Look what you made me do by Taylor Swift. Ah, where do I start? Ah, it's been crazy two weeks. I'm so excited that Taylor is back. This song is from her upcoming album Reputation, which will be released in November. And yes, I will review the album. And yes, I will review the songs. And yes, I am there for Taylor. And I cannot wait. Ah, I'm just so excited. So happy that she's back. It's been years since the last album, since the last song, and I'm so ready for a prediction. Like I can, I can talk about this like for three days or more. I ask my friends. And if you wanna know why I love Taylor Swift so much, you should definitely watch the Taylor Swift project. You can click the i button right here, or the link will be down below. It explains everything. Also, you can follow me on my social medias at Acoustic Bayali. I'm fingerling so hard right now. They're like, it's insane. Okay, here is the bonus. Taylor Swift just dropped another song, and it's called Ready for It. And yes, I'm so ready for this era. I love it. I love it. I love it. And 
it's amazing song it's not a single but it's a promotional song it's amazing at the beginning she's rapping this is the new Taylor the badass Taylor and but then at the chorus you can hear the old Taylor the fairy tale princess one it's oh, I love it so much all the links down below listen to it and tell me what you think videos of the month <laughs> Number 3 goes to Perfect Places by Lauren and I already talked about it in my first Music Shares episode so click here or down below to watch it Number 2 goes to Versace on the Floor by Bruno Mars Now this is one of my favorite songs from his new album The video shows classic Bruno Mars singing and playing on a piano and it's beautiful, it also features Zendaya who is in a stunning beautiful dress, I assume it's Versace and number one goes to, let's say it together, Taylor Swift again <laughs> the video is a masterpiece of symbolism there's so many easter eggs and messages hidden in this video uh, in my opinion this video is made for her most loyal fans because they know everything about her and for her haters because they follow every step she makes I'm going to link a Tumblr post down below explaining all of the hidden messages if you want to know them okay that was all for today a lot of Taylor Swift, a lot of great music I hope you like this one and comment down below your thoughts and opinion also follow me on social media at Acoustic Bayali and I'll see you next time bye